You know what's great about the, the forum is that it brings together the biggest brains to talk about the biggest issues in this spectacular location, oh, as well as us. Yeah, yeah that's true. It's for balance. It's for balance. I think my favourite thing about the forum is the chance to just discover new ideas and new people that you can then go away from the festival and be like, I want to learn more about beekeeping or whatever it is. The forum tent is this place where people can come and, and get inspired, get challenged, get some new ideas, see innovation. Indigenous Australians should, a long time ago, have had constitutional recognition. And the fact that they don't and that we're debating whether or not they should is the problem in the first place. We've gotten to that space of, oh, I've done my duty, I voted, I do a couple of marches, I'm agree. Have you gone and had a conversation with your MPs? It's a really amazing opportunity to hear from people who are involved in these huge issues. Uh, the forum was great, really engaged audience, really engaged politicians. Like it's so different to what our politics was just a few months ago. All these new faces and voices and ideas. We've all seen that the climate conversation has shifted so much by getting hundreds of thousands of students onto the streets. We've shown that it's not a political stunt, it's not a way to get a day off school, it's because we really care. We turned, turned a rational fear into a freak show. They said, let's go see the tallest man in Australia. I'm six foot three. Yeah. And this, this big guy's towering over me. Because you know I walk a thousand miles if I could just see Ruby. Tonight. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of loving you. Sorry, I apologise. Come into the forum even just for half an hour. You can chill out, take a drink, relax, and you can come in and learn something that'll actually enhance your experience of the festival. What's great, during the day, it's like a, it's like a TED talk, but with a beer in the hand, uh -huh. and then at night, it turns into comedy talk with a beer in the hand. Yeah, uh, obviously we're on during the day, so <laughs> we don't officially count as comedy. I tell you what, you come to do the comedy, you stay for the anti-pasto platter. Bloody, you bloody open up a wheel of brie and you bloody see <laughs> Geraldine Hickey in there, and bloody Sam it's Taunton, not. bloody, you know... Brie. So many wonderful comedians from all over Australia have been performing here and we were lucky enough to get in and do a little slot, and it cooked! It did. It was, it was a great experience. Yeah. It's just nice as someone who loves spoken word, who loves literature and politics, to have a space that you can come outside of all the music chaos and just kind of sit and listen. If yeah, I get a chance to come to a forum like this and talk directly to young people, it's precious, it really is precious. So again, if you've made some poor choices and you need to rest for a bit, there are seats at the back, you can be quiet, sit down, it's very calm. You won't be too confronted, it'll be okay. And there's really, really inspiring conversations to be had in there, so come along and check it out.